When you're learning statistics, it can sometimes be difficult to remember which hypothesis test is relevant in any given scenario. Using the Interactive Test Guide Tutor, you can step through a series of questions that asks about your sample distribution, helping you to narrow your choices down to a specific test. Let's have a look at a few of the available tests in the Student Statistics Package. Here we can see there are things like the chi-square goodness of fit, independence, and suitable model tests. There are also the one sample and two sample t test, as well as z tests. Things like the Shapiro-Wilk w test, two sample f test, and the two sample paired t test. So using the test guide, it basically gives you a, a little pop-up that will help you to find the best test for your particular situation. So let's do an example to see exactly how this works. So say we have a company that produces metal discs with mean weight 120 grams and standard deviation 30 grams. If we then sample, we take a sample of 10 discs, we find that that sample has mean weight 818 grams. If we assume a significance level of P is less than 0.05, is the company correct in accepting the null hypothesis that the sample does not have different weights on average in the population of metal disks. So from this example we can see very quickly there are a couple of knowns we have. So we know that the mean weight or the mean of the population is 120 grams. We know that the standard deviation of the population is 30 grams. We know the size of the sample is 10 as well as the mean weight of the sample is 118 grams. So now if we're looking to test the null hypothesis that the sample does not have different weights on average than the population, what we're looking to do is compare two means. We're looking to compare two, a sample to a population based on average, so on, on a mean measure. So then if we go in, we start up our test guide. So go to Tools, Tutors, Statistics, Test Guide. We know then that what we're looking for is a test for mean, since we're talking about on average. Now we might also be looking, if we're doing, a, if we had a slightly different problem, we might also be looking for things like a test for standard deviation or test of goodness of fit or independence. But in this case, we're going to just click next on this first one here where it says test for mean. So now we're presented with two more questions. Do you A, want to test the mean of a single sample that is assumed to follow a normal distribution? Or B, do you want to test the difference between means of two samples that are assumed to follow a normal distribution? So in our example problem, we were given a single sample, and we're going to be testing this against a population, and we're going to make an assumption that the population does follow a normal distribution. So we'll say yes to the first one here. Next we're asked, is the, is the standard deviation of the sample known? Now in our particular problem, it is known, so we, we can click yes here. But just to show you what else we can get from this, if we did click no, we would be given an alternative test. So in this case, it would be a one sample t-test. We can even press help here to find out a little bit more about this other test, this one sample t-test. But getting back, in our case, we do know the sample of we do know the sample standard deviation. So we will click yes here in order to find that the most relevant test is in fact the one sample z-test. If we want to get more details, we can press help here, and this will give us some of the background on the z-test, as well as an example on how the z-test can be applied. Now even more importantly, we can also use the test guide to run a z-test. So if we'd like, we can now press right here where it says one sample z-test in order to run a one sample z-test on some data. So in this case, I've taken the liberty of actually creating our data. So this is our, our sample here of, of 10 observations. Now what we're going to be testing this sample for is testing against the population mean weight, which is 120, as well the standard deviation of the sample is, we're going to be making an assumption here, we're making, assume, assuming that the standard deviation of the sample is the same as, sample, as the standard deviation of the population. So in this case we're going to assume that it's equal to 30. As we saw before, we'll use a confidence level of 0.95, which corresponds to alpha equals 0.95, or the p-level here of less than 
0.05. Let's go down now and let's plot this. So here from our plot, we can see the sample, we can see the mean of the sample, and we can see the normal distribution running across here. Now if we'd like to see what the conclusion is, we can actually test this hypothesis. So we'll just click Test Hypothesis. And we'll now see the results of running the standard z-test on one sample, on a sample drawn from a population with mean 120 and known standard deviation 30. So here in our case, we have a sample size of 10, sample mean, it's around 118, this is 117.7, and the distribution is a normal distribution. So here we can now see the computed statistic, the computed p-value, and so on, as well as the result of our test, which is in this case that we accept it and there is no statistical evidence against the null hypothesis.